Well, I did it. So if you've been watching closely, you probably could have picked up the signs and the clues, but I quit. Welcome back to the Hat House, guys. And this episode is all about giving up and getting some free stuff. Uh, inside this episode, you're going to learn how you can get a free hat. Uh, we've got an awesome hat that we're going to be giving away. And we're going to be doing a little bit different than we did last time. So you'll want to see uh, what we're doing this time uh, so you can enter to get a free hat. Uh, you'll really like this hat. And then also, let's get to the garage and see what I gave up. Well, I did it. So if you've been watching closely, you probably could have picked up the signs and the clues, but I quit free shipping this morning. I'm done with it. I'm over it. It's never happening again. Uh, we had like 17 sales today. Uh, and that's in the 24 hour period since we shipped yesterday, 17 sales, probably the lowest number, uh, that we've had in quite some time. Uh, so, and the thing is, uh, we get the same offers. It's still, if, if we, if we listed a hat for $18, uh, and then somebody would offer us $10 free shipping. Uh, and then when we usually get at least an offer for $10 with the shipping, so I, I, the customers don't get it. Um, they don't understand that $10 free shipping uh, is basically offering me like 3 or $4 for the hat. You get 20% 20, 20 in fees. That's $2 off. That makes it $8. The box costs 50 cents. That's seven fifty. At least $4 for a label, sometimes four fifty. That's $3 profit, maybe, that you make off the hat. And if you paid a dollar or two for the hat, you made a dollar. So $10 free shipping, it's not going to happen. Stop offering it because that's not the way that, that it works. And if I guess if I can't sell hats with $10 with shipping, uh, then I'll find something else to do. But I know that it works. We've sold thousands of hats. Uh, we're going to keep plugging along. Uh, sales are in the dumps right now. I'm pretty sure for everyone. Uh, it's really slow time. Uh, the one bright spot is the MLB hats are starting to sell. That's a majority of what we have here. Uh, MLB hats are doing well. Valentine's Day is coming up, so guys aren't getting a lot of their own presents right now. Um, I've sold a few hats uh, for women uh, lately, uh, and I think that that has something to do with it. And I think that's why we sold the pink hats, and the pink hats have been doing so well for Valentine's Day and for their loved ones. Uh, so if you got pink hats and you got MLB hats, uh, get them listed. Uh, they will sell uh, in the next couple of days. But uh, we got to get through this uh, uh, Valentine's Day and uh, get the MLB season into full swing. I think we'll be doing a lot better. And uh, hopefully it continues to warm up and people start getting outside. But let's see what's sold today. We got, uh, like I said, some MLB hats going out. All right, first up was this sweet Seattle Mariners new era uh, seven and three quarters. I, I've said it. I've said it last week. Seven and three quarters. Great hat size. Always sells well for good money. It helps. This one's in great condition, so that definitely helps as well. But uh, Mariners New Era fitted. Twenty three bucks. If I didn't say the price. Next up was uh, Quad City River Bandits. Uh, this one went out for eighteen bucks. It was basically like new. Had the cardboard in it. Uh, Could have been more if it had been like on a better. This was on the OC. Not a great hat brand at all, and it was a strap back. So uh, pretty pretty pleased to get $18 for this one uh, in the Quad City MILB. DC Shoes Hats. These big logo ones usually go between $15 and $20. Bucks. This one went for $18. It was a size of small, medium, flex-fitted DC Shoes white hat. Next up was uh, Seattle Mariners. This one was uh, went for $18. Seattle Mariners. Seattle Seahawks. Uh, this is football. Uh, nine nine forty went out for eighteen dollars. Was in really great condition. Uh, looked good. Eighteen dollars, good sales price on that. Next up was the uh, San Joaquin tractor. Uh, this hat went out for like fifteen dollars. Really good looking trucker hat. Uh, fifteen dollars, free shipping. Uh, Should have been at least fifteen with the shipping. But uh, anyways, I won't harp on it all video long. I promise. Next up was this uh, Seattle Supersonics. Had this cool Supersonics logo on it. Uh, and this one was vintage and wool. It was size seven and a quarter, so kind of small, but still went out for uh, $25 on this uh, nice uh, retro vintage uh, Seattle Supersonics hat, 25 bucks. Next up was this uh, Columbia hat. It went out for $18. These lightweight Columbias, 
usually sell pretty quickly. And this one was white in really good shape. Another MLB hat, just wanted to show you this one because the MLB is selling pretty well. $14 on this uh, Detroit Tigers, just a fan favorite. Not the greatest brand of hat out there, but still uh, uh, MLB stuff is selling. And last up today, they got a great deal on this hat. Uh, not sure how it made it through uh, to get marked down to $15 and free shipping, but uh, somebody got a really awesome Seattle Mariners hat with the Trident logo on it uh, for 15 bucks, uh, seven and a quarter. Uh, the size was kind of worn off, but that happens on this style uh, of uh, new era that when they printed them, printed the uh, sizing in here on, on the uh, sweatband, uh, a lot of times it wears off and it's hard to tell what size it is. I told you so. It's the day after we turn free shipping off and we have a huge combined order going out. It's like 12 hats. Uh, we have another combined order going out. We did almost $900 in sales after a week of horrible sales. So I was right. It, it was really bad for, I made it eight days, right? Uh, it was really bad. Today was a breath of fresh air. Uh, we got uh, quite a few sales. I mean, we picked almost 50 items uh, total today. And like Mary said, some combined sales. So you'll want to see what those are. Um, and uh, let's get to them. All right, let's check out some of these hats that went out. First up was this Adidas. Uh, it was a fitted seven and five. It went international for $23. And it's going out to uh, Germany. Really cool hat right here. Different colorway. Uh, and uh, international turned on going to Germany. All right, next hat that I really want to talk about was this, uh, it's a bab coat. Went out for $25 uh, almost immediately after I listed it. And actually we found it when we were doing inventory. We went through and we were trying to see things, you know, sometimes things get uh, uh, canceled and even though it says it gets relisted, but it doesn't. And this was one of those. Uh, we ended up relisting it and went out in about 30 minutes uh, after we listed it for $25. Great. Uh, trucker hat right here. Great sale. Had really cool colors on it. A nice big patch. Next up was this Nike SB. Went out for $27.50. Really good sale. Always pick up the Nike SB stuff. Uh, the sales price is usually uh, above $20 uh, if you have it in decent condition. Really great sale here. Next up was the Seattle Mariners. Went out for $18. And uh, these custom broider jobs can be hit and miss. I took the $18 on this one because it was a size seven. It was pretty small, but had some cool embroider uh, with a fish and a coffee cup on the back. Uh, was pretty cool, but uh, took the 18 bucks. Next up was this, uh, it was in our unboxing video a couple of nights ago. Um, this is a really cool vintage Eddie Bauer fishing hat. Uh, went for $31. Where did it go to? Was it international? It was international. Japan. It went out to Japan. And I, a lot of times these fishing hats, that's where they head out to. Uh, they're still really popular there uh, with the neck flaps on them. Vintage Eddie Bauer does really well in Japan as well. Uh, so uh, make sure you pick these up. Usually have above a 25, sometimes a 30 or $40 sales price on nice vintage Eddie Bauer stuff and uh, fishing hats uh, included. Next up was this uh, vintage rope hat. Uh, and I always pick these uh, Hawaiian looking colors and the vintage up. Uh, this one went out for 21. It was super clean, no matter what they say on them. Just the uh, print usually sells the hat. Really good sell right here for $21. All right, next up, to, uh, let me know if you remember this, uh, the club. Uh, it was, uh, you put it on your steering wheel. It uh, kept your uh, car from getting stolen. I don't think I ever bought or used one, but people swore by them back in the day. Thought this would have had a little better sales price, but went out for $13 on this hat right here. Uh, was a vintage The Club. Pretty cool, but I think there are several out there still. This was a really cool hat right here. A world champion, Cincinnati Reds, 1990, wire to wire. A really cool vintage hat uh, from the 90s. I went out for $30. A cool vintage sports hat. Uh, can't really go wrong with this. Look at that nice big patch on this one. Next up was a really great story. She said her boyfriend or husband uh, lost his favorite Nebraska hat uh, and she was trying to get it in time for his birthday this weekend uh, to replace it. So I think they'll really like this one. It's in really good shape. The bill's in really good shape. Nice corduroy Nebraska script hat right here. Uh, she said even if it doesn't get there in time, she'll give it to him for uh, Valentine's. So really good present uh, and a nice Nebraska script hat. Next up was a uh, Orlando Magic. This is kind of a retro style right here. 
it went out for 20 uh, a little over twenty dollars twenty one dollars and it was an adidas one size flex fit uh really cool had this mesh sometimes the mesh can do a little better people look for this uh style and you can get a little bit more for the hats and sometimes they sit so uh there's no hard and fast rule on these that's why i always price these up for a little while and see if anybody was looking for this jersey type of material hat, which are hard to find sometimes, and they'll pay 20 to 25 for them sometimes uh, if you have it. All right, guys, here's the details on the hat giveaway. We're probably not going to make it to a live this month, uh, so I wanted to make sure and still be able to get you guys a free hat that you can enter in to win, and this one is super cool. Uh, it has a signature on here. I'm pretty sure I'm not an authenticator, but it looks like Ashley Force uh, John Force's daughter that runs, uh, that's the CEO or the VP of uh, his uh, racing corporation now, which is really cool. And then also all these NHRA pins on here makes for a really cool trucker hat. It says Eddie and Ursi Hill, first in the fours, really cool trucker hat. So what I want you to do is this month, we're going to head over to Twitter or X. Uh, I created an account there. I only have 10 followers, so I want to see... Uh, if we can get that account built up a little bit, I share a lot of great content over there, some great hats, and then I have a group where I would like you guys, if you come across something great or you like a hat that you see, that you, uh, you start putting it in that group. So I'll make a post about this hat and the giveaway. I need you to comment on the post. I need you to retweet the post. And of course, follow me for more great content on X. So uh, do those things, uh, and then I'll give the I'll give the hat away actually over there. Uh, we'll do the rec we'll record the actual giveaway. Uh, we'll do that a week after uh, I've announced it on YouTube. We'll give it a week for everybody to get over and to to join Twitter and to join our account there. Uh, and then we'll give away the hat. We'll post a, a video of the giveaway wheel that we always do and uh, who wins the hat. And then uh, we'll contact each other uh, on Twitter uh, because I'll get with you with whoever's name was in the comments on the Twitter post. So good luck guys, it's an awesome hat uh, and I hope you win. All right, first one going out, uh, one of the last free shipping items, they paid uh, $15 on a Hurley hat. Uh, it was the Nike dry fit style, uh, really cool color right here, kind of this green and then neon green color. Next up was this uh, MLB All-Star Game hat, really cool hat right here, went out for $18 uh, plus shipping, 2007, uh, I think, was that San Francisco maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. Does it have it in the listing? Yep, San Francisco, uh, where this one was. Really cool uh, hat right here. Somebody got a good deal right here. Obey hats are kind of uh, hit and miss. Uh, sometimes you can get over 20 for really good Obey hats. Uh, this one ended up going out for 12. Uh, I don't think it was the most favorable style, but still had really big spell out. Obey the posse. Um, really clean, nice little Obey hat. Next up was this Columbia PFG. And I, I bring this up because I went out for $13, but uh, fishing and MLB stuff is what's going to be hot for the next couple of months. We can't get warmer weather fast enough, but it's really going to be the next season to spike for us. As it gets a little warmer, fishing is getting ready to take off. And then two really great sales back to back. This is a uh, girl skateboarding. Uh, this one went out for $48 uh, plus shipping. Really cool skateboarding hat right here. Girl skateboards does really well especially these new era. This is kind of older, seven and a quarter, $48 for this hat, great sale. And another great sale, this was $35. This was Bad Religion. Uh, uh, it was branded Bad Religion on the inside of the hat, had a nice patch on it as well, $35. Really great sales price on this hat right here. So next up was our combined order. We had 12 hats right here, went out for around $120 total. Uh, give or take on some of the hats. Some of them went for like eight or seven. Some of them went for 13 or 15. Uh, but bundling them all together, mostly Oregon stuff. This was Ohio State. But then I had like three Oregon visors, uh, another Oregon hat. And the rest of these were like Nor Nike Oregon hats. Uh, I just happened to have all these together in my store. I was the place to get Oregon stuff. Uh, so a uh, really great sale. Uh, on all these, happy to see these going out. There was a Mountain Dew hat, which was pretty cool, and threw in a pretty nice little uh, Roy Fitzroy Fish uh, Patagonia hat as well. Uh, awesome to see the uh, combined orders coming through, and hopefully they keep picking up as the weather gets a little warmer. 
Next up is a great brand to look out for too, but it can be a little hit and miss. I know I say hit and miss all the time, but it's just the way it is with hats. Really cool style or exactly what somebody is looking for to replace their old hat. Sometimes you hit, and this one was $25, but usually metal Militia does really well. Uh, skater brand, this one was a, a small, medium flex fit, uh, kind of had the flat bill. Uh, can do really well on this brand. It usually has, a, it's hard to see. It's usually like a skull. Uh, with a uh, army uh, army hat on. All right, another great order right here. For $35 going out was this really cool Oregon State spell out Nike hat. Uh, went for around the 17 and then around $18 was this Brew Crew uh, brewing hat. This was different uh, because it had kind of like this corduroy on the front and then it was a mesh snapback. So really cool hat right here. Uh, the buyer says they, uh, they love this brewery and uh, I guess they live near Oregon State. So it all worked out. Next up, another really good sale. I think I got this one on Whatnot. I can't be 100% sure though. Uh, but this went out for uh, like $35 plus shipping. Uh, super clean, vintage Miami Dolphins twill. Still had the tag on it. The tag was a little messed up, but uh, $35 on this. I got so many lowball offers in the 10 to 20 range, but I held out and I, I knew that it would get it would get $30, especially since it still had the tag on it. So 35 was a great price. Next up was a great polo hat that you want to make sure you price up a little bit. A lot of times these polo, vintage polo hats with a leather strap back will go between 20, sometimes 30, if you get the exact right color that somebody's looking for. But this one was also big and tall. So this one sold super quick for about $35. Um, so make sure you price these up a little bit more, the big and tall stuff. I know if you sell a lot of clothing, you probably know that it does pretty well. But this was a big and tall hat. It's also going international. So a uh, customer paid quite a bit for this one. Well over $50 probably with the shipping. All right, and if you ever want to get out of a sales slump, here's my biggest tip. Start listing awesome trucker hats. This one went for $30. It's set in my garage for a couple of months probably. Uh, we got around to cleaning them up yesterday, and we always hate doing it. It's messy. Uh, getting out the shop vac is a pain, and then having to wash them out and then dry them out. But it is worth it. 30 bucks on this one, and sold in about uh, an hour, maybe. Uh, maybe I could get more, but uh, I was ready to make some sales. $30 was, uh, was a really good sale uh, on this cat hat. And this one sold for full price as soon as I listed it. I priced it around $35. Uh, and I just find um, maybe I'll get 40 if they don't have the foam in them at, as like the top end. Um, and kind of like that other one, I just accepted the $30 offer. But uh, if I decline those offers when they first come in from the collectors that are looking for it, they know they're going to pay $30 to $35. Maybe I can wait for $40 to $50 a couple of months to find somebody else. Uh, but I usually take the 30 to, to $40 quick uh, sale on these uh, to the people that are looking for them and collecting them. And maybe they, maybe they make them an even better hat. Maybe they put some foam in here or I don't know exactly how they might restore them. But maybe then they try to flip them for, I don't know, 80 or 90 if they get it in pristine condition. But uh, I, I go ahead and take it. I clean them up, clean them out, and then... Uh, Take the quick, easy $30 to $40. Really cool Cabela's hat right here that made it through the hunting season. And then I took the $18 offer now, but uh, it was lined. Uh, really nice condition hunting Cabela's hat vintage on the Made in USA snap. $18 plus shipping. Great hat right here. Then next up was $14 on this Patagonia. I bring this one up because I'm glad to get $14 on a Patagonia anymore. Um, they really are 10 to $15 typically. A lot of times you get a $10 offer on these basic Patagonia hats right here. Uh, they're tough to get much more than that anymore. They're, these have been so produced and are out there everywhere. You really want to find the special ones. This one is really a 10 to 15 hat. And next up is MLB. Uh, Seattle Mariners still doing well. New Era hats are doing awesome right now. $18 on this one. It was in beautiful condition. Had the bright blue color with the S logo, uh, seven and eight, even a smaller size, but still getting uh, $18, $19 is great. And then this one went out for $13. It was uh, also fitted seven and eight. This one just took a little bit longer to sell, but really cool hat right here, $13 MLB. Get your MLB stuff listed right now because two of the last three sales are also MLB. Uh, seven and a half Marlins right here. Went out for $15. 
on this one. Uh, just wasn't the greatest condition. Uh, kind of had the creasing right here, but uh, $15 on this one. Next up was the uh, St. Louis Blues, and I just don't think the Blues stuff sells very well. Um, some NHL stuff does really awesome, but the Blues, I found, does not. Because this I had this Pat priced up to the 50 70 range forever. Uh, and if there was a collector for a vintage three bar of the game in the past year that I've had it listed, they should have they should have popped up by now. But I think I took uh, I took twenty two dollars for this one, so they got a great deal on this one. Uh, and then some sometimes you just can't find the right person in a year uh, that will pay. A lot of times three bar of the game vintage will go for fifty or sixty dollars. And then last up was uh, Pittsburgh Pirates MLB hat, uh, size eight, so a little bit bigger size. So glad to get, I think, $19, $18 for this one. Uh, hit and miss on the big sizes. Uh, sometimes the big guys can't find their size and they'll pay up. And sometimes there's not enough big guys to uh, pay for a, the one, for whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> 